Hello, and welcome to airgunweb.com, your home for honest, real-world airgun reviews and information where we bring you the facts, not fluff. Today's review product really only has one thing in mind, delivering a ton of BBs downrange and putting a huge smile on the face of the guy pulling the trigger. Now, I've been asking Umrex for one of these for almost a year now, and it's certainly been worth the wait. It's the Umrex Steel Force Automatic CO2 BB Gun. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I've shot battery-actuated BB guns in the past, and they can be a ton of fun, but I've really wanted to get my hands on something that's mechanically actuated by the CO2. The Steel Force by Umarex is just that product. The Steel Force uses a composite stock with an adjustable buttstock. I'm always on the lookout for this feature, as it allows a greater variety of shooters access to the rifle. The rifle uses two CO2 cartridges that are stored in the fake magazine. These two cartridges provide the energy to propel the BBs downrange as well as work the mechanics of the rifle. The rifle is amazingly frugal on CO2. The exact shot count will depend on how you use it, but it's certainly got to be around 150 shots or maybe more. There are flip-up sights that are on top of the receiver. Now don't expect much, they're there for general reference only. But the rail allows you to mount any variety of accessories. I've got a Walther red dot sight on the top and a UTG laser on the side. On the bottom, I've mounted a bipod, which is great for the little one when she's shooting. Now, BBs are stored in a 300 round reservoir that feeds a 32 round magazine. It's a learning curve to get the BBs from the reservoir into the magazine, but once you've got it down, you'll be good to go. The safety switch on the left side allows you to select safe, single fire, or full auto six round burst. Let's go ahead and get our steel force ready to shoot. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the safety is on and that's located here on the side of the gun and it's on safe. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and drop out our magazine. Now we need to load our CO2 in the magazine here so we'll pop off the side panel and that will expose the two ports on the CO2. Once you have this out, we can go ahead and load our CO2 cartridges. Now, you always want to lubricate your CO2s with a little bit of this RWS lubricant. So we'll put a drop on the tip there. Drop those in. Make a little room here. Okay, now there's a little key that sits right in here in the magazine that also ships with an extra one. When you're ready, just give this a good turn and it punches CO2. That's it. Go ahead and return the key. Close up our lubricant. We'll go ahead and return the side plate. Now our CO2 is ready. Now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and load our BBs. Now, let's see here. Again, you're always going to leave the gun on safe until you're ready to fire. To load the BBs into, from the reservoir into the magazine, slide this all the way over, and then just rock it. All right. So now, to fire, we go ahead and charge the gun. This pulls back and gets us ready to go. Select single fire. Go ahead and turn on my red dot scope here. Pull the trigger to fire again. You just keep pulling. That simple. If you want to go full auto, go ahead and switch the selector to the six shot burst. And you can do that until your magazine's empty. And it's that simple. About the only drawback I've seen to firing the Steel Force, it just is over too quick. Uh, you can shoot too quickly and you can freeze the CO2 and you'll see your performance drop. But if you are reasonable with it, man, you are going to have just a ton of fun with this rifle.
The Steel Force is certainly no match-grade target gun. But that doesn't mean it's completely inaccurate either. The rifle is going to spit out BBs at velocities well over 400 feet per second, depending on the temperature and how fast you want to pull the trigger. Now I've found that 10 yard accuracy is pretty easily achievable, but shooting 10 yard groups is for old guys that sit around all day weighing and measuring their pellets. The Steel Force really thrives on accuracy by volume and having fun. I can't wait to get this out in the desert for another fun shoot. But for now, you're going to have to be satisfied with just some simple targets being destroyed. Let's go ahead and take a look. The Steel Force may not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you're interested in something that's really unique and accommodates shooters of all sizes and also has that full auto function, you may have found your next air gun. Now I've not had a single issue or malfunction with my test gun and I've fired at least a couple thousand BBs so far. I'm really glad that Umarex sent me a couple of these to play with. It's making for some very fun shooting time where I can get the whole family involved. Just make sure you stock up on BBs and CO2 when you place your order. I'd like to take a moment and thank the folks at Umarex USA for providing our review product today. I'd also like to thank Birchwood Casey for keeping us fully stocked with their great shoot and see targets. And of course, Pyramid Air for sponsoring our channel in this review. When you're looking for your next air gun or you're looking to fill your next air gun supply order, please visit www.pyramidair.com or give them a call at 888-262-4867. And please be sure to let them know that you learned about them right here at Airgun Web. When you're looking for honest, real-world air gun reviews, think Airgun Web. We tell you the facts, not fluff. I'm Rick Yurtzer with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for watching.